All right, sitting on the sidewalk here. Today, we are gonna configure the logging software N3FJP through Arden, and then we are going to use Arden as our link backbone so that we can log through Arden. I'm already gonna assume that you have your Arden network established. That means you have your nodes already up and running. Let me go ahead and show you my network here. We have our network established already. We have a Nano over here, a Ubiquiti Nano, and then we have a portable USB. I will show you that in a minute, along with our MicroTik station that is gonna be uh, connected to my host computer. Next, we are going to go ahead and configure N3FJP for TCP. TCP is the connection type for the database to be shared over a TCP link. Instead of using file sharing, which is a pain in the butt, um, the TCP link is so much more easier to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you how they do that right now. First, we're gonna to go to networking and this will bring up the networking screen. This has some old information, so ignore that. By default, it's gonna enable file sharing, which we don't want, it's a hassle. We are gonna click TCP. To, and then we're gonna click OK. Yes, we wanna enable TCP. This is gonna enable the TCP port 1000. This will be important later. And um, our IP address and station IP address. So this station's name is gonna be the name of your computer. Then, for the server name, whatever computer is hosting your um, service on the on this would be my desktop here at home. You're gonna have that computer name. So if it's the hosted service, it's gonna have the name twice, and that's what we have here: uh, Martian Command, a Martian Command of Port 1000. This is the host, and we click done, or you can just leave that screen up and see when people connect to you. All right, and now we have the service up and running. Uh, we see Martian Command, and I'm sitting over here on 80 meters, and this is my computer. And uh, it says we're waiting for, down here at the status, connected to Martian Command. It's connected to itself. And if I move this box, we'll see a, another computer connected to my Wi-Fi, because uh, my computer has two NICs. Um, it's connected to the Wi-Fi and it's showing that computer as desktop uh, and then some random numbers and letters. You know how Microsoft does it. Next comes the fun part where we're going to configure Arden to expose the service to other nodes. Uh, right now we're just in the network neighborhood so we're going to click on this Arden logo up here and that's going to bring us to the setup page and then or the, the home page and now we're going to go to the setup page. Just have to make sure the laptop doesn't go to sleep here. Um, this is the beat default setup. We're not going to change anything here. We're going to go to networking and forwarding and TCP and DHCP services. That was a lot to say. The two things we're going to need to do is first expose this computer's IP address to the rest of the network. So other people are going to be able to connect to this computer over the network. The second thing is we're gonna to have to advertise the service to say, hey, um, port 1000's open over here. And that is this page. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the service. So let's go back to the page. For the service name, we're gonna name it N3FJP server. I've done this once, so um, the things are auto-populated for me. Then uh, for the connection type, we're gonna choose TCP. Now this is important. This is a TCP connection, not like a HTTP. HTTP is a web browsing service. We are gonna be doing data, and on this particular data protocol, it's gonna be using TCP. And for the advertised service name, we're gonna click the drop down box, and this should auto populate with Martian command because we, we added it to the DHCP client list. And finally, tell it the port, and we're running on port 1000. Click add. Now it's gonna show you an exclamation point right now saying this service is not being advertised because we haven't hit save. And now it's saved, sweet. So we can come back over here and wait for this to refresh on the status. And once it refreshes, we'll see, should see the service name. Boom, there it is. 
this happened to me before early in the day but um, when I was trying to save the settings, the fields did not auto populate or did not populate correctly. So let me show you how I fixed it. Okay, for some reason when I click save on this page, uh, the information did not populate right. Let's go ahead and stop that. Go back to setup. I've seen this once before and you just have to re-add the service making sure it's all there correct but how is it already in use when you don't show it right delete it re-add it there we go I don't don't I don't understand um, that link button might have to be connect clicked I, I don't quite know for sure I think that button is useful if you have a web browser type service running and you want to click on it through the mesh status page and get to that service that works but this is not a web browsing service so if you do that if you click on that it will not take you anywhere save values are saved so let's go so we're going to go back to the um, network status page and click um, I'm just going to click auto so it auto refreshes it shows me everything now we see Martian command under LAN host names, then the service name we see N3JP server. Yay! So we should be able to go to my um, USB nest node from this page and see what it's looking at. So let's go ahead and try that by just clicking the link for that name. So this is my USB node. Now here's my nano. Again, mesh services. We'll see Martian command and the service. Let's try the USB from the Nano. Why? Oh well. So now let's go ahead and head to the laptop to configure the logging software. Okay, we're on the laptop now and on the laptop's mesh notice status page. And we do see under Microtech 1, which is the node I have set up for the house, um, we do see Martian command, awesome, and the um, advertised service. So that is all correct. Next, we're gonna launch the logging software, N3FJP, I'm gonna say that right, one of these days, and then go to network. On this computer, our station's name is the computer's name, and the server name is the name where we're gonna to connect to, and port 1000. And make sure TCP is enabled, click done. Well, that's thinking here. I do have Wi-Fi disabled, so we're only connected via the mesh node. At this point, the logging software wasn't connecting through Arden. It was taking a while. So um, I did a lot of troubleshooting and let's jump to tell you why or what I found that was causing the issue. For some reason, it was my USB mesh node. Um, I needed to reboot it to get the DHCP to work. So um, I went ahead and rebooted it again and we are waiting for it to come back here and give it another second to populate with the information with about the mesh node network um, it's starting to see um, nodes here and it hasn't resolved the names and once it does that we should also see the services and uh, DHCP clients being advertised oh I have to hit auto that's why it's not there it is cool we see Martian command we see the service and let's go ahead and launch field day here's our field day software we're going all right let that pop up and go to network let's just double check these fields Martian football is my laptop's name and the server we're connecting to is Martian command over port 1000 and we're going to click TCP okay okay and it's trying to connect and it should connect here relatively fast might take a second aha took a minute for it to connect here i'm seeing information pop in and it says connected to martian command there it is there it is martian football and over on my big desktop boom 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 done 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 
It's connected. Yes! And if we go to the computer, click done, come back to this window. Let's say we contacted Awesome Mike, K A M R D. He's operating as a one outside station, North Texas. Click and done. Boom. We see it populate over here. We got all the information uh, for uh, the computers. We are working. That is it. it. We stumbled a little bit, but what we learned is the USB node might want to be rebooted when trying to um, pull in new service information. And um, it takes a minute for the logging software to connect. So be a little patient. Let's see if I can get it to run outside and with a node in the middle because that's what we might need to do. This here is a project for another video if you're interested in it. But I have an Arden node running here in the field off of 24 volts power. So what I have here is my nest station. Then I have a secondary relay node down across the street from my house. And that's connecting to the node in my house. I had another node in the house, but I had to take it offline because it was creating too much interference and I wasn't hearing the node I wanted to talk to. But now we can see in our mess status, we can, we're connecting to the Microtech 2, which is the outside portable node. Then in my neighborhood, I see Microtech 1, which is connected to my computer. And I see the Martian command service airplane. Means I'm outside, right? The remote nodes, I'm seeing Microtech 1, which is connected to the computer inside that has the Martian command, also hosting the services. So let's go ahead and launch our logging software and go to network. Boom, it's trying to connect to Martian command. So let's give it a couple of minutes here and I hopefully it will connect. <laughs> It took a minute for it to connect again. So let's go ahead and enter in a call sign. N-A-Y-O. He's operating as a one outside. And he's up in Michigan, MI. New contact. Enter. The list is populated. Everything's working. I had to move a little bit to get a better line of sight um, to my mesh node because this USB wireless router um, is not that powerful of a transmitter go hit things it's running off a of USB I am kind of stretching it to the limits here I wanted to show distance so I am NOT physically talking to the node in my house router as a relay um, I hear another plane in the distance but it's working yes it just takes some time to connect I don't know why that's annoying that's it we did a thing I'm ready to field day until next time y'all go forth and conquer <laughs>